Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a first impression on a foundation. I've actually had it for quite some time sitting here, I just didn't really have the time to um, try it out in the morning when I'm getting ready for work and wear it throughout the day. That's really how I like to do my foundation first impressions um, because Number one, it's regular, uh, my regular situation. I'm, if I'm going to work, I'm going to be there usually anywhere from six to ten, ten and a half hours. Today is definitely one of my longer days. Uh, it's currently about 9.30. I probably won't be home until at least 7.30 tonight. So that's a nice chunk of time for me to see how this is actually going to pan out, how it's going to hold up on my face. The foundation that I used for the first impression today, couldn't find it for a second, is the Physicians Formula Youthful Wear Spotless. So this is like a serum foundation and it comes with a dropper. Um, I'm fully dressed for work and knowing my luck I'll end up with this all over me which I don't want to do so um, you will see more with this in the demo but it says shake before use which I did um, and it's definitely not as liquidy as you would think and you'll see in the demo when I put it on my hand but it has SPF 15 uh, so something that you may not want to use if you're going to be using flash photography uh, but I was not going to purchase this. I actually um, got a sample of the new Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals liquid foundation. Um, I was told by the girl at Sephora that I may not be pleased with the sample simply because it is like an airbrush. There's a ball in there and you have to shake it up and she said it's going to separate and it's probably not going to go on well. She was absolutely right. Don't get a sample of it. Um, it does not work. Um, but I was going to invest the money and kind of check it out even though I already have way too many foundations. Uh, and then uh, it's Judy time did a comparison of the Bare Minerals versus this physician's formula, um, the Youthful Wear, and she said that they are beyond similar, number one, but number two, that she felt that this was definitely uh, the winner between the two, that this held up better, that this has a better um, texture on the skin. I, I know it's like a serum, I, but it definitely was not as thin or oily as I thought it would be when I hear the word serum, so so far so good. I'm quite pleased with the way that it is on my skin. Um, you will see close-ups of how it applied at the end of the demo, but this is just my completed look now, so please don't mind my appearance during the demo. Um, I apologize that I'm going to be going back and forth between speaking to you guys and voiceover. The demo itself will be a voiceover. The reason why is it's the morning and unfortunately I had to take a conference call for work. So I was on a conference call while doing a first impression so I was multitasking um, but it was the only way that I could get this done and I was really antsy to try the foundation out. So I'll explain everything I'm doing as I'm doing it during the demo um, and then I will check back in when I come home later tonight. I'll jump on uh, I'll jump in front of the camera real fast and let you guys know how I think it held up and what my overall opinion is but at this point in time now that makeup is completed I'm really pleased with the color I got it in medium by the way um, it only has three colors so I know that you don't have the best options you basically have light medium and I want to say I don't know if it's dark or tan because honestly I didn't really look at it um, but this one was definitely the perfect color for me has really nice tone not too yellow not too pink went on really nicely absorbed really quickly and as far as what's over it aside from my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour and normal cheek products and highlight I did use my Roxanne Rizzo um, where is it my Roxanne Rizzo Wall Street which is the anti-shine blotting powder or setting powder um, it's just the white one so this is a very very light very very sheer powder I literally just put it down my t-zone and it keeps me from getting shiny the entire day so nothing colored over the product um, I will check back in later and let you guys know what I think but in the meantime check out the demo and see how the application was okay let's get this demo party started please excuse my appearance I'm starting with my NYX honey do me up gel primer infused with honey and gold flakes really soothing calming to the skin smells like tea tree oil and keeps my foundation in place all day I'm using it because that's what I would typically use so normal conditions people normal conditions followed by my other usual of the Lorac behind the scenes eye primer I'm putting it on at this point in case I get any foundation or anything on my eyes I usually do it right now uh, that way anything kind of stays on all day I like that I could just dot it on and wipe it everywhere including underneath my eyes to hold on to my concealer 
And here's the unopened star of the show, the Physician's Formula Youthful Wear Spotless Foundation. This is the brush that they give you. I was trying to make sense of it. I do not know what they expect me to do with a brush of that size, but I immediately tossed it to the side. The top of the bottle is rubber, so it works like any dropper. You can press on it to pull more product up into the dropper, and you can press on it to dispense the product. I don't know why I look so confused. I heard a lot of good feedback on using a nice, dense, flat-top kabuki, so I'm going with my Sonia Kashuk. You can get it at Target. It's a really good brush, nice and dense. And I started with way too much. I believe this is three drops. You can kind of see it coming out. It's a nice, thick formula, not as thin a serum as you would think, though it is definitely still a thick a serum. Um, put it on the back of my hand, patted the brush into it, and started working around that one side of my face. I like to do tapping and patting motions followed by uh, kind of circular motions to spread it. I find that it keeps it streak free, keeps it really smooth, so that's typically how I work my foundations onto the skin, and this brush definitely was a good decision. So you can see I did one side of the face, now the other. I'm trying to see what kind of coverage I get. I was at this point debating if it was even worth building up, but you'll see later that I absolutely gave it a shot. And now I'm putting some on my forehead. I decided to avoid my eyelids at all costs because it is a serum-based formula. I did not want oily eyelids. So I did go underneath because my under eyelid are dry as anything, but we want to keep the top dry as anything too. So I did add one more drop to the back of my hand, and I'm just putting a bare minimum uh, on each cheek and my forehead. My forehead didn't really need much more. I kind of just used it to blend. But you'll see I'm focusing a lot more on the underneath and focusing on making sure there's no line of demarcation. I'm also going to bring it around to the other side. Uh, I have a scar from a curling iron, so you'll see that I kind of focus on blending that out. I'm using Mederma, but that, that little stinker is still completely noticeable and totally embarrassing. And in two seconds, I'm going to show you up close in the camera. I'm starting without the ring light, so this way you can see kind of more the shadows cast on my face and the texture of my skin. Uh, I'm going to get up close in a second and adjust it, and you'll see I still have some noticeable pores uh, to the sides of my nose, you know, the beginning of my cheeks. That's just how I roll. Uh, but this definitely under normal conditions did not make it any worse. Um, and now I'm about to turn the ring light on. I apologize. It was really bright at first. But what this is going to do is help you to really see the finish under normal conditions. You can still see some slight scarring, but otherwise a nice, smooth finish. Hello, and I am back. I survived a long day of work that, um, well, I'll just chalk it up to what I like to call one of them days. Um, and regardless of everything that I face, time spent at my desk at work, my hands on my face, which I know I've said before, I am a face toucher when I'm at work, which is not necessarily a good thing and I don't recommend it, but it's what I do. Um, I am really, really surprised and shocked at the result of this foundation. I did not expect much because it's so thin and it's so serum-y. Um, but even this morning when I was doing my intro, I, in my head, was thinking, wow, this dried really fast. Like, I didn't feel any kind of residue. It didn't feel oily. It didn't feel, you know, even moist. Sorry, I know people hate that word. Um, to any degree, it dried really quickly. It felt like it absorbed but at the same time looked like I had nothing on my skin. Um, I am also, and I did forget to mention this, I think it was my second or third time trying out the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer. Um, <clears throat> I looked at my face really closely and I looked at it in really good lighting and the only problem areas I see, in all honesty, I think are actually related to that concealer. It doesn't mean it's not a good concealer if it's something that you're, you're trying as well yourself. Um, I just don't think it worked for me, or it may not work with the foundation. The foundation is a very thin consistency. Um, I think it's best, if possible, to use it with something that's just as thin under the eyes. I feel like I looked pretty dry under the eyes. Um, the combination of the two kind of enhanced under eye wrinkles. Um, and I had some spotting uh, or scarring on my chin that I attempted to cover. Um, 
and I just I can kind of see the outline of the concealer which I can't blame the foundation when I put the foundation on first so as you can see I still have my contour I still have my bronzer my blush fades a little bit throughout the day as far as the rosiness but it's definitely still there I know the light is definitely going to give a bit of a reflection so I mean you could see my chin gets shiny by the end of the day I usually come home with this weird line across my nose and I do have a wrinkle here which I showed in my last first impression whenever I kind of am in thought and furrowing my brow I really expected it to settle into there and I'm very surprised to say I don't know if you could see that it did not the foundation did not crack it's just so thin so natural so light to me it felt like my skin but better um, I was really, really, really pleased with this. I will definitely try this with something different, maybe like my NYX HD concealer. It's much um, thinner. It has great coverage like the MAC um, Pro Longwear, but at the same time, it's just a thinner consistency. So I think that I might try it with that next time. I just think that this and the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur were not a good combination. But after my first try, um, my first day, and it is 7.30, and I did film at about 9.20 this morning, so you're looking at just over 10 hours, I'm really surprised with the last of this, um, of this uh, foundation. And I just need to go to work, have my face hold up, survive the day, and make it home alive. And um, as a side note, I also have not touched up at all, not once today. I didn't powder once I left the house. I did not um, blot with any blotting tissues. I didn't reapply bronzer. I didn't reapply blush or highlight or anything. I literally did my makeup this morning, filmed an intro, walked out the door, and now I'm back. And that's the extent of what happened to my face. So if you don't already own this for the price, it was about $15, I want to say, $13.99, $14.99, somewhere around there. Um, I know that this is a week late. They just have 40% off all physicians formula at um, Ulta if it happens again soon I highly recommend it if there's something else you like like I know their um, liquid liners that are in the silver packaging are phenomenal as well so if you um, are interested possibly in those and they're doing buy one get one half at Walgreens or Rite Aid or CVS take advantage um, I personally I know I didn't try it under the right conditions but I just I'll pass on the bare minerals especially when it's twice the price uh, and I will be using this so considering how it goes in the next few days because I do plan on continuing to use it you may see this in my weekly favorites don't be shocked or surprised if you do and that is it for me here that's all I have for you guys today it's the first impression on the physicians formula youthless or youthful wear spotless uh, foundation if there's anything else that you want me to try any specific products that you're curious about before you make the commitment and make the purchase please leave it in the comments below and I will be more than happy to do that otherwise if you haven't already done so please go ahead and subscribe and if you liked what you saw then give this video a thumbs up that's it I will see you guys Friday for my weekly fab fives and I'll see you soon bye